Hey, what's up, people? This is the lab. Checking out the government dispensary weed. We're gonna tell you how it looks, how it tastes, and if it's recommended. Check this out. Jay the Finch, we're there. All right. We're here trying out the weed them from. We're trying out the weed from um, the government. Uh, this one is the Wapa weed. So. We can take it out here. Again, like I said, when you get it, you have to push up the tab and use that for leverage to pop it open. Turn it down a little bit. No, no, no. So, this is what the weed looks like. It's a light green weed with, a, with buds. It's buddy. Remember to tell you how the weed, how the weed go. Put that up there. Put that up there better. Yeah. You have the smells. This one's got, I, it, it's hard to, it's got more like a pine smell to it, but it's not earthy also. Yeah. All right. I said it's a hybrid um, indica dominant. Indica, indica dominant. Yeah. So this one is in the indica dominant. So this is um, supposed to put the layer cell. Put that lazy mode into us. Oh, it's, oh yeah. I forgot to talk about the the, the weed percent. I mean the THC level. The THC level is in the wapa weed. The level is. Let me see. Um, the, level, the THC level is 0 0.86, so the total THC level is 20.2%. 20.2. And the uh, CBD, which stands for, what does it stand for? Ca cabinet, cannabinoids. 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 The 0% cannabinoid. A, cabin, a CBO total of 0.7%. 0, 0 so like we said before, the WAPA weed is a hy hydrobred weed. Sorry, it's a hy hy hybrid weed in the car dominant. And the THC level is 20%, 20.2%. 20 so we're gonna try that weed it now. Am I gonna weed it? So, that's it. And the next weed sampler is the Wayne. Say hello to the people that were in here. What's going on, guys? Here, here's the week. Yeah, so what one by the one by the news sleep at this still? No. Where you want to go? I heard about, you heard about um, Vancouver? What's that? Uh, the kid down with some burning, almost fell off of it. Fall off of the little police. What do you think they're doing? They kept, like a kid was doing um, drugs? What was he doing? Oh, you know those trips and stuff that was like Vancouver? Oh, the park and all that shit? You slide off the building, yeah, yeah. Some, some guy did it. Vancouver got charged for it. Got some sort of mischief and endangering and stuff. Yeah. I know some world's tallest building in Vancouver. You know, some of them are all over China. Go all over China, go up some of them tall skyscrapers and then I hung off. Mm. No, no harness or nothing. They don't love life, you know? Yeah. That's all I can say, you know? They don't love life. Black kid walked over the Burlington Skyway, Skyway Bridge. Like from, from one end to the other end. With no harness, nothing. Yeah. And his phone is hard. They don't love life. I, do, I watch it when they look because I'm looking for them to drop. I can say I reach them. Come in and I don't do that for people that are the one where a guy's like sitting in cream downtown you know, yeah. hanging off of it. On a more serious note. You know. <laughs> What's your um Do you think it's a good thing that they're legalizing weed in uh Toronto? Do you think it's a good thing? No, because I'm just feel black right well, it, 
it also, wouldn't you say that you get a better quality of weed by then legalizing it, less chemicals in your weed, less regular, more regulated weed, and whatnot? Wouldn't you say that? Hmm, but I'm, what I would say... 50-50. Uh-huh. 50-50. Well, the way I see it is I never had no problem with the week before. Same here. Like, so, I mean, I don't think that is an even a, 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 a good point because I didn't have a... I didn't have I didn't have a problem with the weed saying there's too much chemicals or this or that. So if they're coming up with it saying it's safer, yeah. that doesn't mean nothing to me. Mm-hmm. Because right. why would on top of it, why would well I'm, that's not a good point I'm gonna make, but the man not gonna sell shit weed. You know what I mean? What? We, we are weed man. And we, weed sellers are guys that just sell weed that just take any weed and sell it. Weed but mud. you have a lot of that nowadays too. Yeah, the weed man them know they're the one that look for the quality weed if they could get it. Yeah, cause I can't lie, you know, I, I I love weed. We smoke in my lifetime, you know, like, but the weed that but knocking my head off right now is when I get it from the dispensary. I don't know if it's like a placebo, because I'm thinking I'm buying it from the dispensary. It's knocking off my head, but I tell you, when you buy the weed off of the pot, you don't what you gonna call it? You don't knock off my head. Right? the street we had legal weeders. So the street we couldn't, couldn't be names. Well that yeah, that's that's basically what we're saying though still. You don't know I don't know what I oh, like yeah, is no, the right. Don't go sleeping on the way. So are we here so far? Two one draw. Nice little taste to it, still. So I yeah. can't lie. The taste is very important. This is, I told there's no mixture in it either, so it's just a pure weed I'm tasting. Yeah. You said and, it's, and it's a good taste, you know what I mean? So it's not making you want to out this and go put in the next piece of weed and whatnot. It's a good little taste. Try coming up. We want to try <coughs> uploading a video every week with a different set of weed. We could try it out at least once a week, if not once, twice at least, twice every two, once every two weeks. But I want to do it once every week. So to go over the weed that we smoked just now, smoking is Wapa. And we're just smoking Wapa, and we previously we smoked nice. White Widow. Wap is pretty good. I'm feeling it as I buy. It's already hitting my eyes. I'm just like, I can feel my eyes getting lazy. I can tell you that right off the bat. Oh, for real? Yeah. This is nice. It's strong. You can feel it? Yeah, but you see, the, the thing about the government weed now, don't feel like, say, you can buy like a half a, half a pot of pea and whatsoever, or two ounces or three ounces. No, the thing no. about the government weed, they would stick you to, up to probably up to seven grams. No, the government weed that they're selling you on the site, you can yeah, sell. They, 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 no, you can only buy up to twenty-eight grams. Yeah. I mean, sorry, you can only buy up 30. to seven grams. When you're online and you punch up, when you go to checkout, and you want to choose if you want a dime, two dime, or a half quarter, or a quarter, they only allow you to buy up to a quarter. And is it ten dollars per gram online too? No. Some it's, of the weed is different price. It goes by like. Seven. Some is like te- some is like twelve. Some is like fifteen. 13, 14. This weed I bought is was ten dollars, mm-hmm. and plus it was five dollars for shipping. Yeah, it so it's twenty five dollars I paid for okay, two dimes. Two days shipping. And the dimes are not bad size. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Because the dime has three was smoking out of it, and still have a bud left. You get me? <coughs> so you get me count. Yeah. What if, what if, what if the people don't know? What if they don't want to buy seven grams? What if they want to buy like, the amount that they can buy? If it's thirty grams, they're allowed to buy. It. I don't know. They never. They, they, they didn't even. They, I don't even think they've spoken about that on TV. They're just talking about selling weed, but they're not saying that they were sticking you 
they were, they were restricting your access, access to the weed though. Because they're, they're giving you an option of between one gram to seven grams. What if you want an ounce or two? No. What if you're a man that has a money every month and you want you buy a, a, to budget based, to on, budget your budget and budget based on your budget. Okay. So you buy your you buy your weed at certain right. times. Of it. That's why I said the but they don't, I've never been on it. Out. If I had a phone, if I had a free phone, I'd go on it and sh next next um next next show we're gonna sh go online and show you the option that they give you when you're buying buying some weed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ten grams is a tea bundle. Mm -hmm. Like I bought like a gram. Mm -hmm. I bought ten of them. Yeah. You bought ten of them. They allowed you to buy it. Yeah, ten grams. What do you do with No, you see when you're buying the weed, you have to research it and look at look at the weed and make that and look at uh, how much THC level is in it and whatsoever. Because that's what I do. I look for the THC level. And now you start doing that. I look for anything over twenty percent. Anything under? That now the work. Cause I think I think the WAPA or I think the I think the WAPA is like what? Oh, this WAPA the, 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 the THC level in um. What I know the THC no the THC level in the White Widow was actually with the total weed the total weed THC level was fifteen actually. Only fifteen percent. Yeah, in, in the, the Widow. And in the Wapa, Wapa is more stronger. Wapa is supposed to be stronger. Wapa is, I think, hold on. The Wapa weed is 20.2%. 20. So what we're smoking now is supposed to be stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, I just, for me, um, like I said, sativa is not for everybody, but with a sativa, if you got to be doing something where you um communicating with people, you got to be speaking, I would, I, I, I would recommend sativa. You understand what I'm saying? I would recommend sativa. They look yeah. just because they look get you ignorant, you don't want to talk to them. Like, that's why you hear the music. No, no, you know what I mean? What is sativa? Does it give you like a little body wise in effect? Mm -hmm. Copyright. Yeah. Which one? And this is a tea with the body, like the body wise in effect. It gives after smoking. It make you um not want to. It just hypes you up, is how what I say. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, is there, is there, is there no more like topic to talk in this? No, I feel it. Oh, me. Can't, no, no, sorry. The sapphire. The <coughs> So is it more that we get the win? I see I see this online but I just haven't tried it. I tried like I tried the purple the purple pillow. I tried the cream cut, we only care about like seven grams. And if there's any weed like if the, the best sativa to me Lamb's brand. It was the best tasting sativa I ever had. I tried a hybrid called banana, Didn't come banana, wise. banana split the other day. Next Not week, we don't like that, but when I go online, don't I have it? I look for it. I'm gonna try to order something. What lamb's bread? Man, lamb's bread is good. The, Mikey, you, you you get lamb's bread. My taste it. Just based off of way it tastes, you don't want to smoke no other weed about lamb's bread, Richard. Just stop for the thing. Remember when we did our yard, Bridget? Mm. The weed we used to get, Bridget, the red air weed, Bridget. I remember saying, yo, you used to smoke that weed and you just want to open up the paper and just eat the weed, Bridget, the way the weed tastes so sweet, weird. Yeah, it was sweet. Wait, wait, That's lamb's bread, Bridget. Bridget. Way better than what you get now. Oh, I'm yeah. sweet. Ten weed in there. Good weed in there again. Good weed in there again. Good weed's back in the 90s. Yeah. So, what weed that they have down there now? At them mm -hmm. times I was born. What, do you, what would you say without kind of weed? Where? In Jamaica. Good weed. Just like natural grow? Yeah. It's not joy you smoke in Jamaica. That's the weed. Green. Green. <coughs> huh? It's <Where's> green. <coughs> we don't know them have joy in Jamaica. No, we have some other growth down there, don't we? Yeah? Yeah. 
Yeah, but well, it's down there. I heard first heard about White Widow. The first time I heard the name White Widow mm. was a man, as a girl. They were like doing a documentary documentary <laughs> on, T, on um, the YouTube there. And the man, they asked the man, I said, "Yeah, man, the White Widow. This that's the first I ever heard about White Widow." Yeah, it looks like All right, people. This is a new show called The Lab, and we're gonna be checking out the weed from the government. So we bought some weed. I bought the White Widow. It came in this, and I also bought the WAPA. So, when you get the package, you open it up and it comes in this. You have to push it out because for some people, they won't know what to do. So there's a tab on top. If you use a tab for leverage and pop open the weed. And here it is. So we're gonna try the weed. We're gonna tell you what the weed looks like, how it tastes, and if it's re if it's recommended. And this is Rebel. It's gonna be the tester. What's up? What's the smell like? Is it earthy yeah. smell or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Piney. Yeah, yeah. Put the weed earth, in your hand. Earth or piney. Put this one in this wapa or the white widow. Um, I think this one is the White Widow. Okay. What does it smell like? To me, it's got like an earthy smell. You know, so you don't, um, don't got a pine smell. So it's got more like an earth smell, like a rural side. Okay, it's like it's an earthy, earthy smell. smell. Yeah. And it's the White Widow. So we're going to try it. We're going to build a spit a little bit. You build that. Okay. White Widow is um, sativa dominant. That's a, it's a hybrid sativa dominant. Say that again? It's a hybrid sativa dominant. The white riddle. Yeah. So it, it has the characteristics to keep you up if you want to party, munchies, and all that. It doesn't put you down on your ass and make you want to sleep. Okay. So it's more like an upper? Yeah. You would smoke this during the day if you're working or, and all that. Just keep you up and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> you have on you? You have a zigzag on you? Mm -hmm. Uh oh. You ain't got no damn thing. You want You want two? Oh, one. Yeah, two. And the best thing you can do for yourself is to don't mix it. Don't put the cigarette in it, don't put the grab out. Yeah, but you see the thing with me and the and the and the and the, and the I don't but I have to put cigarette tonight because it just smooths it out for me to make it because I don't cough. Okay. The cough is wicked man. I can't take it. I don't know how you take it. I just have to go on with it. Yeah. Because I cough off everything. Yeah. I just find when you put that in, um, put those in. Yeah. If you don't smoke for the night, you tend to get an attitude. Because you're looking for that nicotine fix that yeah. you get from smoking um, with, the, with the weed. Oh, um, not me. No, you don't like, you don't, if you don't smoke, you don't feel, um... No, if I, if I smoke weed, I, I, I'm fucked up. No, like, okay, you smoke the weed now, right? Mm. With the cigarette now. Yeah. Now, tomorrow come now, yeah. you don't have no weed or mm. no cigarette, right? Mm. You're not really feeling for the weed, you know. It's that cigarette that you feel for you. Oh, yeah? So when you, that's how I find. You see, when you smoke an item now, if you don't have a split, mm. well, for me, if I don't have a split, I didn't come the following night, yeah. I'm going to have an attitude. I don't want to get down nobody through it. It's just a cycle. But when, when I used to mix it, yeah. that, I used to leave that house looking for weed. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? My yeah. apple will go find its way. Because yeah. it's a cigarette that I used to mix in it. Mm -hmm. To make me want it. I don't know if anybody believes that logic, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're trying to weed this so out. You have it strong if it's a weak if it's a weak high or strong high. Babes. So otherwise than that, what company knows? Nothing. Hello? Yeah. What happened? Vanessa? Hello? Vanessa? 
Not cut off. Let me call you back in like 20 minutes. I good? All right. Love you so much. I catch one camp, so tell us in love. Mm-hmm. It's upset, no. <laughs> so good. You don't draw back still. So far, don't draw bad. You kind of, you kind of feel the, you kind, you could kind of feel, feel the weed when you're smoking, when you dry. You kind of feel the, feel the earthiness to it. Okay. As long as, well, you know, if I cough or not, that's how you know if the weed good. Mm-hmm. Depending on the level of coughing. <laughs> Get some music. So what about the news you want to talk about otherwise than that? No, 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 there's... Let's see. The bullshit that they're doing, I say no criminal record. If you have a criminal record, you can't work in the industry. Which industry? No, the cannabis industry. The cannabis industry. I know not, not even a bud tender, a grower, nothing. If you have a criminal record, you can't work. That's like what I was saying about that weed, they're saying that there's not there's a weed supply, is not there's a shortage of weed. But what happened is I ordered the weed. Now when I got that weed, the weed on the box says it expires. <coughs> Hold up. It says <coughs> it says expires. I'm not sure. Hold on. Yeah, the expi- the, the, this says that the package date on this was November 22nd, 2018. So this weed is a little over over six, almost five months old. So how is there a shortage when this weed has been packed since November 2018? And we're, we're, into, we're into March 2019. So why are they having a problem supplying people? And, the, and there's pa- obviously the packages show how long it's been there sitting down. It's been sitting down there since November. Yeah. Well, I think what it is is to um, control the industry, really, and truly to get better control of the industry by putting out only a little bit of more weed. So you have a full control. Yeah, um, that's how I see it. But, 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 I mean, when you're forgetting, when you're up, when you're up with like 10,000 other dealers on the, on the corner, it's not a good look for you guys. Because just why you guys, the government is supposed to be taking away those customers from the dealer back yeah. to the government. But the shortage only sends them back to the fucking dealer. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> they can't stop that. I don't believe they can ever stop that market. I, I truly feel so that market will always, <coughs> will always be there. For the simple fact is, like you said, they can't control it. Well, it's not every day. I'm not a person to go and go buy an ounce of weed and put down. I buy a dime a day or whatnot, however you want to. I buy as well as I need. Now, you come holiday time, you're telling me I got to buy my weed now. Weeks Two, in three advance. days, weeks in advance. Or come, no, to no, ensure the delivery for the, for, 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 this, for, for the day I want. For no, Christmas. I'm going to go outside. Go check Tom Blow down the road there. I'm going to get a dime of weed off it. And you can check him anytime and just know the lie. Yeah. yeah. From you have the money, it's instant, it's instantaneous. You get the money, you, you give the money, you get the weed. No. Simple as that. When they open these dispensaries next month, now I still don't think it's gonna matter Mm-mm. because there's only a few dispensaries. Look at the area we're in right now. I highly doubt that they're gonna put a, a dispensary in the Jane of Finch area. I highly doubt it. So you're telling me for me to purchase weed, I got to get up and get to take bus or jump in the car and go spend money to get to the place to buy weed and to spend money to exactly. buy weed? No, man, go down the road, go check John. The, government, John Blow, go the government needs to drop a dispensary in the vicinity of every ghetto. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. That will draw the customers from the dealers. You know what I'm trying to say? Because they have, they have, they have, they have <coughs> ac- easy access to the dealer. <coughs> Because no man is gonna go, but he's gonna sit down and say he's gonna go take bus to go buy weed. When he's gonna walk down, he can walk down, walk down the road and go get the weed. That's six dollars. I especially taking a bite from the government. Because 
Well, we used to do that still. <coughs> but then we know say we're going for a draw. <coughs> yeah, that one had the big draw, so you're all okay. The way is it hitting off my head? No, you you see, I feel it, but here you see a lot of people. Why a lot of people don't like sativa because they look for that the same effects of indica, where it's gonna lick off their head and they're gonna be slumped over. You see, I feel what I feel from the sativa is a like an uplifting, like more I chat and more I'm gonna do something now. I don't feel lazy. Yeah. This is what I get off of sativa. This is why I like sativa during the day. Instead of one camera now, so yeah, try the weed. He said open opening dispensaries next month. Stay here. No, no, no. Stay there. Hmm? Stay no, there. no, I'm, I'm saying they're supposed to open dispensaries next month. Yeah. Five. Mm -hmm. Only five in the GTA. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah? No, there's none. No, there's none back here. Wait, where are you down there? Done? Yeah. Which side? Here now? Oh, next door. Oh, okay. Trying to find oh, no, your dog bite. Yeah, I told you. Like, yeah. well, I'm trying to try to find another dog to breed it. To breed it? It's ready for breeding the dog no one year old. Twelve yet. months. Oh, already? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Summertime we get the dog. Yeah, the dog from before the summer. So the weed no. Um, so the weed don't look bad. Well, when you get it online. Yeah, I got it. Oh, off. sorry for that. Yeah, we're doing a review of the weed that you get off online. <coughs> so this weed, this weed that is that we're smoking now, <coughs> white widow, is white widow, which is not bad. It tastes good. It does have a good Comes taste. Like this. I can't lie. I went to this. Uh, Wednesday when they had that big snowstorm. So we're gonna come back again in about five minutes and I'll um, go check out the Wapa. Uh, the Wapa Wee. Alright? The lab. Don't forget. Monkey yeah. Spice 3.0, the 610 social countdown. Yes people, this is the lab. Jane and Finch there. So check this out. Please like, share, comment and subscribe if you like this.